Hi, greetings in Jesus name. Pointers along the way are brief Bible based messages I bring out, God willing, every Saturday dealing with practical aspects of the Christian life. I hope they will be a blessing to you. You can visit my website at www.c-n-c.org for my articles and books. This is pointer number 907 and its title is Why did Paul speak in tongues? Here is this apostle Paul who wrote a large part of the New Testament, started many churches, did miracles in Jesus name, who was given revelation of mysteries that others did not know, etc. Why did he have to speak in tongues and that too to such a great extent? 1 Corinthians chapter 14 verse 18 I thank God I speak in tongues more than you all Many intellectual Christians don't see any need of speaking in tongues and deride those who do but Paul was certainly an intellectual of the highest class and a scholar he could have accomplished much with his knowledge and skills Why did such a person resort to this questionable practice? Yet the fact is that not only did he speak much in unknown languages but he also wished that everyone else did too. Verse 5 Now I wish that you all spoke in tongues. The reason is that he found it to be great for personal edification. verse 4 the one who speaks in a tongue edifies himself but the one who prophesies edifies the church he was not trying to impress anyone with this gift and he avoided speaking in tongues in public verse 19 nevertheless in church i prefer to speak five words with my mind so that i may instruct others also rather than 10000 words in a tongue even though there is clear instruction that unless there is an interpreter present we should avoid speaking in tongues in public many cannot resist the temptation to slip in some tongues in the middle of their sermon or prayer verse 28 but if there is no interpreter he is to keep silent in the church and have him speak to himself and to god he was not satisfying himself that he too could speak in tongues using some repetitive syllables when he prayed in tongues he did it in faith not understanding what he was praying verse 14 for if i pray in a tongue my spirit prays but my mind is unproductive but leaving it to the holy spirit to intercede who knew the mind of god romans chapter 8 verses 26 and 27 now in the same way the spirit also helps our weakness for we do not know what to pray for as we should but the spirit himself intercedes for us with groanings too deep for words and he who searches the hearts knows what the mind of the spirit is because he intercedes for the saints according to the will of god just think of how humbling it must have been for paul to spend such a lot of time doing something he could not understand but he continued to do it believing that his prayers were bearing fruit in ways he could not see compared to speaking in tongues paul desired that people should prophesy 1 corinthians chapter 14 verse 5 now i wish that you all spoke in tongues but rather that you would prophesy and greater is the one who prophesies than the one who speaks in tongues unless he interprets so that the church may receive edification aiming for the building up of others through exhortations and consolations verse 3 but the one who prophesies speaks to people for edification exhortation and consolation in ministering to the others 
our aim should be to edify them and by speaking in tongues privately we can edify ourselves paul spoke in tongues a lot because he recognized he needed that edification for himself he got connected with god through this act because it was done entirely by faith there was no reward from people and there was no intellectual satisfaction he was entirely dependent on the holy spirit to give him utterance interceding for things he had no idea about and then he depended on the father entirely for results many of us resist this idea altogether because it looks ridiculous to our mind and also because of many counterfeit tongues people exhibit god may also give us some interpretation 1 corinthians chapter 14 verse 13 therefore one who speaks in a tongue is to pray that he may interpret the spirit speaks through us mysterious things verse 2 for the one who speaks in a tongue does not speak to people but to god for no one understands but in his spirit he speaks mysteries god may reveal answers as we pray he could give us words of knowledge or wisdom 1 corinthians chapter 12 verse 8 for to one is given the word of wisdom through the spirit and to another the word of knowledge according to the same spirit this may be what we need for our situation or to help someone else the more we recognize our limitations in every direction the more we can learn to depend on god this is one way we can put into practice such a total dependence on god putting aside leaning on ourselves all together may the lord bless you in your life as you have listened to these words thank you